come at it from internal like perspective, you're just like you can't just grab it, so I have to kind of just collect and collect and they like, come to you. And then then you start building again and then you realize that like you have a much neater domain if you focus on what you want for the reason. Which is I think what I'm going through right now. And what the sparkles represent in my mural. Um, I think you need to open the door for my hands. Because of the hands. Because of the hands. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me more about the portal. What's it called? Well, I think the portal is like actually okay. Well, some people I think use different elements for portals. So like a portal can be a pentacle or a pentagram drawn on the floor for rituals, right? And that's kind of very like present, sort of like you're still here doing the ritual. And then there's like crystal balls and reflective surfaces where. It's kind of the beginning of an astral tube that you erect in order to um, allow yourself to um, be in transit more easily and astrally predict into the future, the past, an alternate reality. And that's just a reflective surface. It's like, or, you know, if you can just see without it, you can see in fire, you can see in snow, you can see in water, basically anything. And I've always been really enchanted by like the idea of a physical doorway. Um, maybe it's through watching, like, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Or like, Would Breaking you... the Witch's Wardrobe. But it's like, I want something that's more representative of a door that doesn't exist. Like a hidden door. Or like chalk. And I really enjoy the white on white. Um, respect of like, modernism. Um, where Mondrian kind of started asking postmodern questions that I can relate to as a you know, tree still making noise if no one hears it fall. It's kind of like, well, the, does the white still exist if it's on white? Yeah, it does. I mean, there's texture, there's sheen, and it kind of reminds me of the same way that chalk would look on a white, glossy wall, um, which also speaks to moder uh, modernity, postmodernism, and the cult. So really, I I've been dreaming kind of passively about creating this like chalk door. I just really wanted to exist somewhere. And um, since we're using white on white as an example of purification and illumination, um, I thought, why not kind of combine the two? And this is all somewhat subconscious. Um, I just knew my actions today. I didn't really know um, how it turned out or what motions I'd make or where it'd come from. I just I usually come into the space and start gesturing and really the paint is just a trace of those gestures because when I perform rituals it's usually just a set of gestures with a wand which can be your finger, it's your index finger and you know, some people just need a little bit more reality which is I think why galleries, um, especially contemporary and conceptual galleries and shows and art exists. It's like um, sometimes the physical embodiment of um, a theoretical concept, and I guess this is just that. It's you know my my process as turning into a doorway that speaks on um, purifying your motives and creating that beginning to a vortex that can take you pretty much anywhere you want to go. You just have to. And what do you begin call this one? Um, Door number one, I guess. Um, I don't really like to title my pieces. Um, I think they speak a lot for themselves, but... Well, then it's now called do Untitled Door. Untitled Door. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a portal, I guess. It's um, when I was kind of halfway through creating it, it kind of represented my world to me. Um, and I thought... Um, like, so will you be coming in here and visiting? Hmm? Will you be coming in here and visiting? The door? 
through well, the door. Yeah, I mean, Good. that's... I actually painted two doorways in my apartment. Um, one was a purple spiral in the back of my closet because I had a bunch of purple paint left over Yeah. Um, from after we did the stripes. And then I painted a heart, a purple heart in Miles' room when Miles was with me because he liked purple and he wasn't there yet. He hadn't even seen the room probably. And I just painted it there as a surprise for when he got in there and like set his bed and was crashing. And it's kind of like to visit each other and I figured that'd be really cute. It's like a reminder of like where the other leads. And I think that's, that's like friendship rings or like friendship it. necklaces. It just reminds you of how close you are to someone else, even if you're far away. Yeah. So this is kind of like, you know, it can be a gateway in, it can be a gateway out. It's just a reminder of your ability to travel, which I think is all that doorways are. I mean, you can have a doorway leading into a field and people would call it, you know, visiting the field. They'd feel it much more real than just a field and they wouldn't feel an entry point, but it's like official when you put a door there. So it's like, it makes it easier for our brains to kind of relax and visit Indeed. that gallery. <laughs>